Oh, this is my very, very, very favorite day of the year. It's February 1st, and the gym is quiet. Nearly everybody is gone, and we have it almost entirely to ourselves because by February 1st, just about everybody has given up. Yeah, sure, most of us have pretty high hopes when we start off in a new year. We resolve that it's going to be new, it's going to be different. We're going to get to those things that matter most in the new year. We promise ourselves we're going to get back to the gym, that we're going to lose the weight, start the new business, up-level the career, write the book. We have all of these hopes and dreams and aspirations for the new year. And then January comes and we fall back into the weeds. You know, it's so easy to just get caught in the day-to-day -day vortex of our lives. And we lose touch with what we set out to do. And February 1st comes. And what the research shows is that most folks who have set forth resolutions, even if they're the most heartfelt and sincere resolutions, have, have fallen off the cart. It's not unusual at all. But wherever you are, it's, it's just the right place. Doesn't matter. Every day is the opportunity to start again, to begin anew. And what's true is if today you started again, and you were off to lose some weight, you know, just a pound a week for the rest of the year would still be almost 50 pounds. If you wanted to write that book a page a day for the rest of the year, you'd have some serious editing work to do by the end of the, by the, end of the year. That'd be over 300 pages. You know, uh, one or two leads a day for the rest of the year, that's a significant list to get the product launch or to start the new business. Uh, you want to run the 5K in the spring. There's still plenty of time to start off with a running program. And if you just did a couple of miles a week and began to ramp up toward a marathon schedule, you'd still be able to run that fall marathon. So it's, it's not too late. It's never too late to start again. You know what I know from ultra distance running is that it's not the size of the step, it's the consistency of the action. Races are run one stride at a time. Mountains are climbed one step at a time. Cathedrals are built one stone at a time. Small, consistent steps over time is what yields the amazing results. So, matter, so no, no matter where you are, uh, today is a new day, an opportunity to begin again, to start anew. So get back to it. There's plenty of room here in the gym. I'd love to see you here. Make it a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Talk soon.